The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, the 13th of March. I'm James Spam. A cold rain falling across the state tonight. A major blizzard for the northeastern states tomorrow. And we will see sub-freezing mornings both Wednesday and Thursday with lows down in the 20s. So a lot going on here. Let's dive in there and check it out. Water vapor satellite view. As we often say, the players are on the field. We'll see phasing of the energy west of the state. That'll be spinning up a major storm off the upper Atlantic coast tomorrow with blizzard conditions for the major cities. And around here, we have rain falling over northwest Alabama. Uh, places like Hamilton, Hackleburg, Russellville, Moulton. Rain coming into Fayette, that was at 234, and that will be progressing south and east. So most locations will see a rainy uh, late afternoon and evening. Uh, no thunder. The air obviously is cold and stable. Temperatures are only in the 40s. In fact, Fort Payne barely out of the 30s. They're at 41. Gadsden and Anniston, 43. Birmingham, 46. Tuscaloosa, 47. These numbers are about 20 degrees below average for this time of the year. Should be well up in the 60s in mid-March. And you can see that very cold air north of the state, and that'll be pulled southward, setting up the late season freeze, uh, both Wednesday and Thursday morning here. There's the watch warning map, and you see some counties up in the Tennessee Valley. That's a freeze warning, and we'll see a lot of that in coming days with these uh, colder nights. But obviously, the big story is up in the northeastern states where uh, widespread winter storm warnings are currently in effect, and there are blizzard warnings in effect for New York City. A uh, blizzard warning in effect, it looks like, for parts of the Philadelphia metro. And they are just going to be slammed with one to two feet of snow, very high wind, coastal flooding, beach erosion, just a nasty setup. And we'll show you more about that in just a second. And this is late tonight and tomorrow. And on the uh, severe weather outlook, there is a marginal severe weather risk for the rest of today and tonight down in parts of central and south Florida. It includes uh, Tampa Bay, Orlando, Fort Myers, all the way down to uh, Naples, parts of Lake Okeechobee. But no problems here, obviously, with the cold air mass. Here's the rain for the next seven days, about one half inch, and a lot of that's going to be what falls uh, later this afternoon and tonight. Probably see some rain coming back at some point this weekend, but it looks pretty light and spotty at this point. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run tomorrow at noon. That's a whopper of a trough over the east, down below that. Classic Nor'easter is just off the upper Atlantic coast at 1035 millibar high over Minnesota. And for Alabama, it's going to be a rather breezy and cold day. Maybe some drizzle or flurries in the morning. Uh, clouds hang tough much of the day. And again, like today, we'll probably stay in the 40s all day. And check it out. Uh, the GFS depicting a 984 millibar low just southeast of Long Island at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Blizzard conditions. Uh, for many of the big cities, just a nasty-looking storm, high wind. There are going to be power outages, major disruption. whole place will be shut down tomorrow. This is the snow forecast coming from the National Digital Forecast Database, basically the uh, snow amounts forecast by the various weather service offices there. And you can see the amounts are in the one- to two-foot range for most spots. Big-time storm. All right, this is Wednesday. The 1030 high begins to build in. We'll be well down in the 20s. The GFS depicting a low of 26. The NAM at 26 for Birmingham. That means the colder spots will probably see low 20s. The day on Wednesday will be sunny but cold with a high only in the mid to upper 40s. Thursday, again, we'll have a morning freeze. Lows well down in the 20s. Colder valleys could see upper teens. Then the high Thursday should go back in the 50s and the sky will be sunny. Now, this is Friday. We've got moisture uh, north and west of the state, but at this point, the day looks dry. A uh, mixture of clouds and sunshine. The warming trend continues. We should go back in the 60s on Friday. And this is uh, for the weekend on Saturday. Looks like a surface boundary tries to creep in here, and that could bring the chance of a few showers. Nothing too heavy or widespread, but maybe some rain at times. And the high would be in the mid-60s. And then Sunday, uh, slightly cooler air noses in from the north. The latest uh, di uh, guidance suggesting Sunday here would be a sunny day and a cooler day with a high in the low 60s, not the kind of cold air we have now. This is Monday of next week. i uh, got a northwest flow aloft, a dry air mass. Looks like a beautiful day. Monday should be a sunny day. We start the day in the 40s. The high should be in the upper 60s. Here's the end of the forecast period, middle of next week, Wednesday, March 23rd, troughing off to the west. A deep surface low is over Kansas. That looks mild and breezy. 
And maybe at some point after that, we could see some storms, but no evidence of any severe weather for the next 10 days. And don't worry, cold snaps in March don't last long. That's the good thing. This is coming up the European Ensemble. You can see the cold snap through midweek. Lows well down in the 20s, Wednesday and Thursday morning. But after that, we go back in the 60s for the weekend, and then 70s are likely in here next week, and that will feel pretty good after this chilly air we're dealing with now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 or the live stream at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.